Hello. Welcome. Good evening. Good morning. Good night. But in any case, wherever you are, welcome back here. I'm waiting, as always, that someone arrives. Please uh, write me if you can see and hear. And we start to make our lovely chain sheet. Okay, I see that you are arriving. Welcome, ciao, 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 welcome. Okay, someone says, uh, says okay. So, first of all, uh, today is uh, the last day of Carnival, and here, anyway, in Italy, it's called uh, Martedì Grasso, and that means uh, Fat Tuesday. That means that till now you could have eaten everything. So today is, is the day in which you eat the complete world. <laughs> and then from today, diet until uh, uh, Easter. Okay, this is my tradition. So tomorrow is a vigilia. Vigilia means that you... Vigilia nera, so it's black uh, vigilia. So tomorrow you don't really have to eat uh, meat but also if possible nothing and this this anyway is always every friday of the year that you don't have to eat meat for by tradition by religion but anyway today we eat so we made the change and now i say to you <laughs> how many names there are in italy for the same thing i have to say also that there are millions of recipes and variants all over italy and they call in in Tuscany we call chenchi anyway here in the florentine area and then i found that they call in different parts of italy frappe bugie chiacchiere galoni frappole sfrappole crostoli fiocchetti fiocchi nastrine Crespelle Intrigoni. This I have found. I don't know if you can see. Maybe someone recognized from, I don't know, the um, grandmothers and so on. So, this recipe that they do is what I like. And there are millions of variants. These are not so much crunchy, but then I will tell you how to make them much more crunchy. Okay, these are much more spongy and soft so ciao Henri. greetings from finland snowy yeah also here around is snowing it's cold today anyway let's start ciao jennifer ciao ciao see si, crostoli Nancy. yes look i show you one second maybe i don't know if you can see in the right way or reverse it, but someone can recognize the name. So, anyway, I will write down. We start. I put you down. Few ingredients, not so many. So, we have flour. Flour. Then, a little bit of uh, yeast. Not yeast, sorry, baking powder. Yeast is for the bread. Then, in the middle, we put one egg. I think you have a little bit, okay? So, we mix it. A little bit. Then we have oops, a little bit of melted butter. We put all the ingredients together. Sugar. Half uh, orange peel grated. Now, this is half milk and half vinsanto. So here we go. Here we go. 
and we mix everything together. A little bit of butter left. Put it on the board. And we just put all the ingredients together. Okay, we need a little bit just to combine all the ingredients. Flour left. Ciao Olga, ciao Sabe. There you are. When the let's say the the board is clean and all the ingredients are combined so we just let it rest in a plastic wrap so. so here you are this goes in the in a let's say cold place if if you have a cold place in the house it's not necessary the fridge but cold place okay now i'm going to wash my hand okay I put on then I will move you of course there I'm putting on the oil for frying so then it can start okay we continue I have of course the dough made before this is one hour ago more or less This is this quantity is not for many uh, many uh, let's say oh wait sorry I have a small cut I leave you one second to put a plaster. <laughs> So I'm here alive, no more bloody, but sorry, but before, while I was preparing the orange, to peel the orange, I was, I was also grating a little bit of finger. <laughs> so we continue. So, 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 okay. We put a little bit of flour here. So we press a little bit, then we take our lovely rolling pin and off we go. And we made, uh, I show you then 
how much must be let's see the thickness so thickness must be about like this okay um less than half two or three millimeters okay then we take like this um pasta ruler or something like that okay we uh, avoid let's say the outside part because they must be nicely and you cut at about uh, three four centimeters so let's say between one and two inches okay this way and then I, I like to make them in this way. So let's say diagonal. Then with, the, with this one, you can make others. So in this way, I like to make them in this shape. But of course, you can do what you like. Okay. The oil is starting to sing. Okay, it's a little bit sticking. Okay. And then we continue the same till we haven't finished all the all the dough. Okay. Okay, this we make it a little bit thinner. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And this we make it this way. So, I think, of course, there is uh, other, okay, but just to show you how it is and how to let's say then uh, uh, refine <laughs> at the end so hello everyone who arrived also later and now we move uh, to the cooking area so the oil should be quite hot already let me see is already frying so to see when the oil is ready just with a tooth, toothpick you put it there if you see bubbling is ready so this I raise just a little bit I wait one second it's not bubbling 100 <laughs> anyway we can try if you are not sure then you do like me so you take a piece a small one and you go okay it's frying so we can go we can go you don't have to put many every time just a few at a time and turn they cook fast so when they are goldish they are ready my water smell <laughs> the smell of carnival so I put it here
So the small one is ready. <laughs> But also this one, this one also, this one, all of them, all of them. So, then we fry the other three left. I think the <laughs> the comments are frozen because I see the comments of Elga since now ten minutes. <laughs> mm. They are growing. Because of course there is the yeast, not the yeast, sorry, baking powder. Okay, one, just a little bit more. They don't have to fry, uh, the temperature mustn't have to be extremely high when like for instance you fry potatoes otherwise they get immediately brown and they don't cook so so now the last step so these are just fried okay now i move you again Okay, what we do? First of all, we clean here. Then we take sugar, okay? And then of course, a tree to put them on. You just pass them on the sugar, okay? Okay. The small one, our test. Okay. One, so the last one. This is it's this. So, and then we put the sugar again on them. Okay. So this our changey, this can changey. Okay. With. So I check now your comment from the other mobile. So first of all, it's still hot, but then now I say to you a couple of things and then we open one. Okay. Now it's still very, very <laughs> hot. So first of all, if you want them uh, 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 for this recipe, I mean, if you want them much more crunchy, don't put milk. And instead of milk, you double the quantity of the Vinsanto. So uh, of the sweet wine, instead of take uh, put one part of wine and one part of uh, milk, you take two parts of wine. So, and uh, you can substitute butter with oil and it will be much more crunchy. Okay, and of course, uh, when you roll uh, the dough, make it thinner and thinner and thinner, how much, as much as possible. 
You can also avoid the baking powder so they don't inflate and they remain completely flat. Then uh, what else I have to say? Ah, a very important thing. We usually, we can also refill them with cream or sometimes with Nutella. So, and what else? There are all over Italy millions of shapes. In in uh, in Florence, they made they make them also wider. So not this uh, let's say um, horizontal way, uh, much more bigger. And then they make a cut in the middle. And in Finland they are called uh, I don't see. <laughs> anyway, we open one. I don't know how it is, but look inside is super spongy. Can you see? So if you don't if you don't want them in this way, so I prefer this. But if you like crunchy, make the substitution of what I've said. Otherwise, try other recipes because there are really really millions. Anyway, these are how my mama was making them for the bakery, in the family bakery. So, I eat them. It's good. Mm. And I think, mm. Mm, Nutella, yes. <laughs> you can substitute also orange with lemon, of course. Lemon zest. So, I have uh, um, news for you in 10 days from today. So, today is the 16th. The 26th of February is the first birthday of our wonderful group. So, one year of authentically Italian food and recipes. So, I ask you now one favor. Please uh, um, invite... One, only one friend is enough if everyone does it and uh, we try to reach even if it's a little bit tricky because it's it's a uh, it's um, a lot but we try to reach 50,000 we have 10 days to try to reach it if it doesn't reach doesn't matter we are all uh, very happy to be here um, with you Together we have made so many recipes and uh, you have found so many friends. So we are happy in any case, but if you can just invite one friend and we try to reach this wonderful number. So I write down the recipe for you. <clears throat> Sorry for you, was a little bit of sugar. <clears throat> Sometimes I feel that I am like uh, <coughs> it's cold, sorry. <laughs> it's called uh, Bridget Jones. I got the finger and uh, the sugar stays in my throat. <laughs> am a little bit Bridget Jones, for, for sure. I am. <laughs> anyway, enjoy this wonderful, easy, and few ingredients and traditional dish. And we see us very, very soon. A big kiss. Thank you to have been here and to follow the recipe. Ciao!